Welcome to Amy Learns to Cook. On the show today, we're going to make a classic French omelet. Now, a French omelet is a little different from an American omelet because an American omelet is usually stuffed with a lot of ingredients. A French omelet is soft, delicious, and covered with a little bit of herbs on the top. So join me as we make a classic French omelet. Okay, so the first thing we're gonna do is we're gonna chop some chives. And I've got a really big bunch of chives here. We're just gonna chop, you know, a fair amount. I really like chives, so. These are actually gonna go on the top of our um, omelet. So with chives, you just make sure you wash them um, and you just line them up so they're straight, right? And we're just gonna go ahead and chop them into little pieces, get the edge um, even. And chives, I just love them. They have a um, sort of a light oniony taste. Um, they're not too sharp. So they really can add, you know, a freshness to your, to the top of your omelet. So we're gonna go ahead, we've just chopped these chives, we're gonna put them in a little prep bowl. Okay, so we're gonna go ahead and crack three eggs. We're gonna make a three egg omelet here. And the reason I'm making a three egg omelet is because I'm using a 10 inch pan. If you want a two egg omelet, go ahead and use a smaller pan, maybe like an eight inch. I found that if you only use two eggs in my 10 inch pan, and I have a 10 inch Cathlon omelet pan, it's just not quite enough egg for it. So if you find that, go ahead and just use an eight inch pan or do a three egg omelet. So what we're gonna do is we really need to beat these really good. That is because we want the, the yellows and the whites to be really combined. So what I always say is we're going to do a hundred, a hundred whip whisk. And that means we're just going to beat it. And I actually count 100 times because every time I do it 100 times, it's thoroughly incorporated. And it seems like kind of a lot, but if you do it 100 times, which is you can do pretty fast anyway, look how it's thoroughly incorporated because you don't want any of the whites separated from the yolks. So let's cook them. Okay, the first thing we're gonna do is we're gonna get a little butter melted here in the pan. Um, one of the things about melting the butter is you, you want to melt it thoroughly, but you don't want to brown it. Butter has a really low smoking point, and if you give it too much heat, it's going to brown up, and that's not going to be good in this type of dish. There's some dishes that you want brown butter. So we have our eggs here, and we're going to go ahead and we're going to put them in the pan. And one of the things about a French omelet is that it's really soft. You don't want to brown it too much. And unlike the scrambled eggs that we did earlier, the scrambled eggs, we kept the curds really big. The reason is we wanted a really fluffy look to them. But a French omelet, the curds are all broken up. So what we want to do is we want to pretty much keep the pan moving. And as it cooks, it's, the action is going to break up the curds. And you're going to have really small curds in your omelet. Now we're going to cook this. You can cook this to your desired um, taste. I like it kind of soft. You definitely do not want it to brown at all because it's just going to be tough and rubbery. This pan is a metal utensil safe pan. It can tolerate having the fork in here like this. Just make sure if you have one that can't tolerate that to just keep your fork really flat. And we're just gonna keep this moving. Okay, so we have this cooked. It's still soft on the inside. You don't wanna cook it too hard. It's going to continue to cook on the plate. So with the French omelet, we are just gonna roll it. And the way we do that is 
we're going to flip over this edge like this and then we're going to take it to the plate okay so we are going to pick up the pan with our palm upside down like this and we're just going to take it to the plate by rolling it and as we roll it we're going to roll it out onto our plate and we're going to give it a little bit of salt and we're going to give it a little bit of pepper fresh ground black pepper. I'm going to put a little bit of our chives on here. Wow, that looks great. Now let's take a taste. It looks really good. It's nice and soft. It's moist. Mm. It is so good. It's simple. The chives just add a little oniony flavor to them. Mm. Wow. It is so incredibly good. Great for a weekend or a weekday when you just need a quick breakfast. It is really, really good. Why don't you give it a try? It's actually easier than you think it is. If you like this, please subscribe below and visit my website at amylearnstocook.com. I'm also on Twitter and Pinterest at Amy Learns to Cook. Thank you.